Good afternoon everyone. Today I'm going to talk about our new stepping motor driver, SMD-1.6 MINI, which is used in the HGMA 17 stepping motor. Here I am holding one of the first working samples. Now this video will give you an insight into the virtual reality to see structure and function of the driver. Now, so let's start. As I said, SMD-1.6 MINI is of, is of a small size. It is attracted to the FL42 STH47 stepping motor's backside. Its outstanding characteristic is high protection level, IP65, where 6 is particles for confinement. It is totally protected from dust. 5 is water jets protection. Water, which might be coming from any direction, should not have negative effect on the driver. In addition to the driver, the package also includes port, which is wrapped in a hermetic package. 8 mm cable gland is located on the side where control and power wires come out. Rubber gasket is located on the port side where driver is located. Ports are used in SMD-1.6 mini driver or of a D-sub DE-9 driver type. Now let's talk about large size devices. On a flange, the size of a motor and, and a driver are the same, 42mm. The length of the motor and control panel is the same. 110 millimeters. If we set up a port, th then the overall length without wires would account for 185 millimeters. The length of the motor's shaft is 24 millimeters and diameter is 5 millimeters. Overall weight of the construction is 480 grams. Now let's move on to the technical characteristics. Power supply voltage varies between 9 to 55 volts of constant stable current step shattering regimes 1 to 1 no shattering 1 to 2 1 to 4 1 to 8 1 to 16 1 to 32 1 to 64 1 to 128 and 1 to 256 Regulated holding current is shown in percent. It is counted based on maximum phase current between 10% and 100%, while step currents account for 10%. Connection. Let's have a look at the driver's port. Driver is connected to pins 1 and 5. Pin 1 is connected to negative power supply. Pin 5 is connected to positive. Pin 3 interface output control. Pin 4, input signal for display mode and functioning parameter setting. Pin 6 and 7, step negative output signal. Pins 8 and 9, direction negative output signal. Pin 2 is error output signal. Getting ready to start. We'll need power to supply for driver we are using the 24 volt one and tack switch to start indication regime and function parameter settings. Now we supply power to the driver. Green light status will be on. Let's opening settings and have a look at our set parameters. Looking at the table shown will help understand the settings. If you want to switch the review mode Press the tact switch. Red light status will flash once to let us know about step shattering. The number of the following green light flashes status will indicate step shattering regime. If there were 8 flashes, shattering will account for 1 to 256. When the red light flashes twice, it indicates holding current. The number green light flashes indicates adjust current. 
Here we had five flashes, so holding current will account for 50% of maximum current. Red triple flash automatically indicates direction of the shaft rotation. When working with regular drivers that have access to phase wires to change shaft direction rotation, you just need to swap the phase wires. In this driver, if connection wires, wire, wires are not available, we can choose to use direction in, uh, inversion to change the direction. If the green light flashes once, it means rotation direction has no inversion. When a clamper's shoulders side, it will be clockwise, the clockwise direction. Parameters input and getting started. Press hold on setup for around 3 seconds. Green light will turn into red, which will be on for one, for 1 second. When it is off, we need to press setup button as many times as we need to switch to one or another parameter. Press one time to see shattering settings, two times to see current holding settings, and three times to change inversion direction. After three seconds, red light will flash, meaning that that driver is ready to receive settings parameters. Then we should immediately press setup as many times as needed to input required variable, required value. After this, we release the button and wait for driver to automatically exit input value mode. The red light will flash and then will turn to permanent green light. In order to change another parameter, we need to enter the whole procedure again. For example, let's change shattering size from 1 to 2. Press hold and set up for 3 seconds. Release the button. When the light is not on, we will press and release the button once so we get to shattering parameter settings. Wait for approval, which will be a red light flash. To input shattering 1 to 2, we need to press setup button twice. Then we wait for automatic exit from parameters input. We will need step and direction signals for driver to function with the help of, with the help of the external controller. Step signals can be received from square wave pulses generator.